I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to the first in a series of videos that I'll be creating for you regarding the Network Plus 2009 certification. Future videos will have some live labs in there. We'll be creating video practice exams for you as well. Today we're going to take a look at the overall process though, or an overview of the 2009 version of this important certification. We'll talk about how it can boost your career and your future prospects, even if you're just getting started with your IT career. We'll take a quick look at what's changed since the Network Plus 2007 exam version. And also, I'll be offering some real-world study advice and a few tips about this particular certification. That And these tips have worked well for students of mine around the world who went on to earn their Network Plus 2007 certifications. First off, I want to congratulate you for making the decision to earn your networking certifications. It's a huge boost to your career and your future. And in this business, we're always preparing for the future. The key there, though, as network admins, is that sometimes we're busy planning for our network's future, or as we say in Cisco, planning for future growth but we tend to ignore our own future growth. Well, just as you've got to plan for your network's future growth and future success, you've got to plan your own as well. And earning your networking certifications is a big step toward doing that. Whether you've been in the field for a while and you're just getting started on your certs, or whether you're just getting an IT career started, or frankly, you're just trying to break into IT. Here's a quote from Terry Ertle, the Senior Vice President of Skills Development at CompTIA, and it's the CompTIA group that actually offers this particular certification. I'm not going to read you the entire quote, but notice how he mentions network security and how important that is and how important wireless computing is in today's networks and tomorrow's networks as well. Those are really the two biggest differences between the 2007 version of this exam and the 2009 version. So if you have studied for the 2007 version in the past and now you're getting started on 2009, the studies that you've done in the past haven't been wasted, but you definitely have to accelerate your studies as far as security and wireless considerations go in today's networks. This certification also ties in with a question that I have been asked by thousands and maybe tens of thousands by this point of network certification candidates. You know, where do I start? Because there are so many certifications available today, and you've got to start somewhere, as we all know. Well, an excellent starting point for your networking studies is the Network Plus 2009 certification. And it's also an important starting point because the knowledge that you're acquiring when you're studying for this particular certification, this is really the foundation for all the future studies and your career. Whether you go on to really specialize with Microsoft or in Linux or in Cisco, particularly with networking, this is the foundation for everything you do in the future. So really, even though this is your first networking certification, perhaps it really is the most important that you're going to earn. Now I mentioned CompTIA earlier. The Network Plus 2000 certification, like the other certifications offered by CompTIA, these certifications are vendor independent, or as they now say, vendor neutral. Microsoft and Cisco, they didn't create these certifications. So you're not going to see an exam here where every single question is about Cisco. But this doesn't see, mean that you won't see questions, perhaps, on Microsoft topics. As you'll see when you begin your studies, you'll probably see quite a few Microsoft-based questions. But again, this is not a Microsoft exam. Here are just a few details about the 2009 version. You see the exam code here. It's N10-004. It is 100 questions in what CompTIA calls a conventional format, and that is you'll be taking it at a computer testing center. You'll see drop and drag questions, multiple choice, that kind of thing. Uh, no big surprises there. The CompTIA a certification and nine months experience are recommended by CompTIA, but not required. And it's that last point I want to address with you here, stepping away from CompTIA's quote about that. Uh, my not so humble opinion on that, don't worry about the experience level. I, I understand why they mention that, but if you have a choice between moving forward with your studies in Network Plus 
and not moving forward, you know what I'm going to say, you're much better off moving forward. You're always much better taking an aggressive approach. If you're relatively new to IT or to networking or even if you're not even in IT yet, you know, don't hesitate. Go ahead and get started with your studies. You're always better off being aggressive with your studies than being passive. And the more you know, especially if you're trying to break in, the better off you are. As I like to say, I'm going to give Brian Tracy credit for this because he wrote it in a book before I did. Uh, audacity may get you into trouble on occasion, but even then, more audacity will get you out. So always be audacious. Always t make that choice to move forward in your studies. CompTIA's website, you can get more information on this certification and their others at comptia.org. Also, I'm pleased to announce that at the Bryant Advantage, we've now launched a separate website strictly devoted to Network Plus 2009 certification. This one's just getting started, so we're going to be adding videos, fully illustrated tutorials, practice exams, all kinds of great stuff in the weeks and months ahead. Definitely worth a visit out there now, and you should bookmark that as well. It's NetworkPlusCertification.com. Also, We've got over 300 videos, practice exams, and fully illustrated tutorials out at the main website, thebryantadvantage.com slash tutorials.htm. There are some Network Plus 2007 tutorials out there that are still well worth reading if you're working on 2009, so I invite you to come out for that. You'll also see plenty more videos for Cisco, Microsoft, and Network Plus 2009 on my YouTube Cisco certification channel. You see the URL there. And also I invite you out to the blog where we've got plenty of Network Plus 2009 information coming up as well as plenty of Cisco and Microsoft certification info, practice exams, all kinds of great stuff out at the bryantadvantage.blogspot.com. I want to thank you for taking a few minutes to watch today's video. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and I look forward to helping you earn your Network Plus 2009 certification.